Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Jason Din and this is part 3 of the highly anticipated Elasticsearch tutorial series. In the last video, we talked about the various APIs that lets you manage single documents, aka crudding. In this video, we're going to show you that life is a little bit easier when done in bulk. If you are new to this channel and never heard of this voice and wants to keep hearing this voice, please like and subscribe. One of the biggest benefits of using the bulk API is that it reduces network usage. And in working with Elasticsearch, you will most likely have to do updates in bulk very often with very large payloads. It would be terribly inefficient to do single updates to hundreds or even thousands of documents one at a time. In this video, we're going to continue ingesting movie documents like we did in part 2. But this time, we're going to make use of the bulk API. Here is the general scheme in using the bulk API. The request payload must be a new line delimited JSON structure. The pattern is essentially an action followed by the action payload, unless it's a delete. The possible actions are index, create, delete, and update. Oh, and also, doing a bulk API operation is not an all or nothing thing. Elasticsearch will yell at you if certain actions fail, but will still happily execute the successful ones. Let's jump into some code. Alright guys, let's get started by firing up Elasticsearch and Kibana. As you can see, we don't have a movie's index initialized, but that's okay because Elasticsearch will create it for us. Let's go ahead and create three movies. We're going to create the first one using the index action, where the action line expects the document ID and the following payload line expects the document fields and values. And the last two movies will be created using the create action. All right. Now that we have a couple of movie documents in our movies index, let's go ahead and bulk create some more movies and also update and delete current ones. Let's create another movie. It's going to be a create action targeting the movies index with a unique document ID. To do an update, let's browse one of the movies that we've already created prior and grab that movie document ID. And let's do an update to that movie. When using the update API, the root field of your payload has to be doc. We'll change the name of that movie by appending an updated string. Further, let's do a delete action where all that is required is the index in the document ID and no payload. Last but not least, to show whether Elasticsearch bulk operation is an all or nothing thing, let's do an update to a movie ID that doesn't exist. You're probably not going to use Kibana to do a bulk upload. Thankfully, because it's a RESTful API, we can do a bulk ingestion using any HTTP client. Let's do an example ingestion with curl. Here you can see that there is a sample new line delimited JSON file named requests, which is our bulk API payload describing the movies that we're interested in updating. Let's do a bulk update by doing curl dash s dash h content type application x nd json dash x post localhost 9200 forward slash underscore bulk dash dash data dash binary at requests 
All right, guys, that's about wraps it up with some basic work with the Bolt API. Now, most of the data formats that I've worked with has been CSVs. And instead of trying to parse and convert CSVs into new line delimited JSONs and then having to bulk upload, I'd rather use Logstash, which has built in features to let you bulk ingest into Elasticsearch directly from CSVs. If by any chance you would love to see a video of me using Logstash to bulk ingest data into Elasticsearch, please comment below and it'll probably happen faster. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Peace.